Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. We're looking at the one, the only, Grand Admiral Thrawn. And uh, yeah, this is cool. I, lo I love this figure a lot. This is, you know, one of the, well, it is the earliest interpretation of Grand Admiral Thrawn in action figure form. Um, we have since had a few more. Um, namingly, there was a Legacy Collection, I think, Legacy Collection comic pack that came with a uh, Talon card, which is probably, you know, worthy of a re-release on the vint in the Vintage Collection now, um, despite the fact that his uniform's a little bit different in new canon. Um, but if you would do, do like an Heir to the Empire um, card, that would be fantastic. And uh, also we had a 5 POA Rebels version of Thrawn, which looks cool too. And recently we've had a couple of releases of the Black Series 6 inch Thrawn. There was the initial release, um, which was part of that red line. There was a exclusive pack that was a UK UK convention exclusive. And most recently a another release in the archive collection for the Black Series. But yeah, this one's going back to 1996, I think. 1998. So this one came a little bit later in the uh, Power of the Force line. So there you go. So he does have this little, the little Ysalamiri here on his shoulder, which is, you know, if you remember the story, it basically creates like a force bubble that means that he can't be influenced by the force. Um, well, we've had a couple of different variations of this one. Um, there is one that came with the one that came with the comic pack. He's got more like a little lizard than this one's just sort of like a worm. <laughs> he doesn't have his arms. Um, but the other one has sort of four arms. And then recently, um, the six inch black series, uh, Ed's the Empire gaming grades figure of Luke Skywalker. Um, come with an Asalamiri 2, so I've actually given that to Thrawn if I uh, do a little bit of zoomy zoomy. So I'm going to focus up there, but yes it will. There he is. In front of all the Thrawn books. So I've got one on the Rebel shelf and one there. But yeah, this one's cool. So he's got his little, little blaster pistol here, which I'm pretty sure is the one he came with. Um, I'm pretty sure I did buy this one uh, second hand so only assuming that it come with the correct blaster I'm not sure whether the uh, whether his sort of skin has sort of faded or whether it was originally a bit like this because uh, yeah the m more recent interpretations has been a lot bluer but I can't recall actually seeing one uh, in the package to know whether this has faded a little bit. Um, it could very well well have. It's not as strikingly blue as uh, modern interpretations. But still cool nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, it's only a matter of time before we we get Grand Admiral Thrawn in live action. I think that's a no-brainer. I think um, you know, the, the Mandalorian really, really sort of teased that in the, uh, the episode, the Jedi with Ahsoka. Um, and yeah, all sorts of casting rumors. Um, apparently it's, it's gone with Lars Mikkelsen who has been voicing him in Star Wars Rebels, um, which is, which is awesome. I think he'd be a great fit, be a fantastic fit to the role. Good to see the other Mickelson get a get a role in in Star Wars. I think it'd be fantastic. But yeah, nice looking figure. It's cool. It's not super He-Man-ish, but by, by sort of later nineties, it was sort of they started trimming them down a little bit by ninety eight. <laughs> they weren't as they weren't as broad and and buff as they were back in like ninety five, ninety six. So there's a little bit more. Um, yeah, a little bit more to scale. 
but yeah, big big fan of Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm really excited to see where the future is going to bring him. Um, obviously, the last canonical appearance it was uh, him with Ezra at the end of at the end of Rebels. So we really have no idea what's going on there. Um, but yeah, we've got an exciting future ahead, and uh, I think that we'll we'll start to see that all come to life with, uh, with the Ahsoka series, and then. I think it'll be a bigger picture kind of deal. Um, you know, where Mandalorian's going, where Boba Fett's going, um, particularly those series will, will lead into a bigger shared universe with, with Thrawn at the uh, head of the, uh, the opposition to the good guys. Imperial Remnant. But yeah, fantastic stuff. Really looking forward to seeing more of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got all those books up there that I, uh, zoomed in on. So these are the more, most recent canon ones. There's, if I can get my hand in shot, there's those sort of three there. That's a trilogy. And then the first two there on the right, are from a new trilogy. And I just struggled to get into it. Um, it's sort of going right back into Thrawn's early days with with the Chiss ascendancy and his people and stuff like that and I just wasn't really grabbing me so I'll we'll try it again one day but we'll see about that we'll see awesome guys let me know what you think love to hear your thoughts on Thrawn ideas for the future anything like that please drop them in the comments below And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll hopefully have some more videos up this week. It was a bit of a busy week. I didn't really get a chance to to upload much. Um, and this weekend I'll be hanging out with Salacious Rum. So I'm looking forward to to jumping on and having a having a chat with 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 Mr. Rum. It should be should be good time. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Till the next video. May the force be with.